Some of the most profitable and lucrative products are the ones that don't go out of style. So when it comes to trends, they don't always have to change. There's some trends that can last a few days, some trends that can last a few weeks, you know, the ones that we quickly capitalize on. But then there's other trends that actually last a few months, a few years, or quite possibly even a few decades. So because of that, today's video is going to be focused on the top 10 evergreen products for you to sell in your dropshipping store. Now, before we go ahead and continue, remember, as always, we have an easy to reference cheat sheet with all of the different tips, tricks, links, and products that I'm talking about in today's video. If you want access to that, just go ahead and comment down below the hashtag evergreen and let me know which one of these products is your favorite. Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll reply back with a link to the sheet. Also, if you want a little bit more information on anything that I'm talking about in today's video, just go ahead and check out the description down below. There's going to be a link to a relevant article down there. Now, before we get started, what exactly is an evergreen product? Well, simply put, it's not necessarily something that's actually green. What it is, is something that is evergreen. So it's green forever. No, I'm just kidding. So evergreen products are products that simply don't necessarily go out of style. Products that can sell year round and products that people have use for pretty much in their day to day lives. These types of products can give you more stable sales in your dropshipping store versus trends. Trends can have massive spikes and then just quickly die down versus evergreen products, which are going to be a bit more stable across the board. So while you might have a lot of money coming in at one point with trendy products, like let's say fidget spinners to take an example from way back in the day, you could have made a lot of money in a very short period of time with fidget spinners. But then after the trend dies down, nobody's buying them. You're not making any sales and really they're just there taking up space in your digital store. Whereas evergreen products. So let's say something, I don't know, something that everyone uses paper towels. Let's take paper towels. For example, paper towels can give you more of a consistent inflow of sales simply because that's something that people need almost every single day in their lives. And they're going to keep repurchasing over and over. All right. Evergreen versus trendy products. Before we get started with our list, let's just look at a few different criteria to help you differentiate between the two. So for one demand, evergreen products have consistent year round demand, something that's purchased throughout the entire year and used throughout the entire year. Whereas trendy products, they don't have a consistent demand. They have spikes, they have dips, they have more spikes, they have more dips. Sometimes they just have one spike and then it dips and that's it for the product never sold again. So evergreen products are more sustainable versus trendy products, which are not going to necessarily be sustainable, but they're going to be nice little, I guess, influxes of sales every once in a while. Criteria number two, longevity. So evergreen products, they're going to be maintaining their popularity over time. It's going to be something again, that's used and purchased throughout the entire year, throughout the entire next two, three, four years. Trending products just used for a short amount of time, popular for just a little bit of time and that's it. All right. This next one's a little bit different and it's appeal. So when it comes to evergreen products, you're going to be appealing to a larger audience of people or a broader demographic of people versus trendy products. Trendy products are going to be more niched. So you're going to be targeting a more specific group of people. And last but not least sales potential. So evergreen products, again, those are going to give you sales throughout the entire year versus trendy products, which are going to have spikes here and there. All right. So enough talking, let's go ahead and get started with the countdown, shall we? So our first product in this evergreen niche countdown is going to be a timeless classic, one that sells all the time because babies are being popped out all the time. And that is a customizable baby onesie. So over at autodias.com, you have access to print on demand, which by the way, if you haven't signed up with us just yet, or if you've been on the fence of signing up with AutoDS, you can get started right now for just $1 for the next two weeks and gain access to full on print on demand. So you're able to customize baby onesies and a whole lot of other products. But for this countdown, we're going to be talking about baby onesies. So over at autodias.com, again, you have the option to be able to customize them using print on demand. So here we have your basic baby onesie. And all you have to do is simply just click on edit product, go ahead and add image. And then once the image is uploaded, all you have to do is simply just adjust it to your liking. So you can make it a little bit bigger, center it, change some of the different colors. So let's say I want to put this on a pink onesie instead. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Super simple, super straightforward, straight to the point. Now, the great thing about baby onesies is again, this is an evergreen product. This is a product that everyone is looking for because babies are being born every single day. And the best thing about being able to use a service like AutoDS's print on demand, the fact that you get to customize them. So you can really target a broad range of people. You can go ahead and target parents that are fans of 
let's say things like this so anime or anything japanese so you got a little anime cat eating some ramen you can also make a few different designs let's say for parents that aren't into sports you could do some funny sports sayings maybe like a soccer ball on there football some text-based designs you can simply make a few designs that are just practically cute a few little dinosaurs a few little dolls things along those lines now once you're happy with your final product and you're ready to sell this and make it go live all you have to do is simply click on save and then it's going to be added to your draft section so once we click on this on the draft section we're going to see our baby onesie over here go ahead and click to edit really fast then you're going to be taken to this page where you're going to be able to update the title add it to any collections if you're selling it on let's say shopify you can go ahead and change the description as well now another cool thing about using AutoDS is the fact that you get to optimize your description and your title with ai so AutoDS has a built-in ai optimizer for or your title and description that you can take advantage of right from this same screen. Besides that, you have the different variants. This is where you can go ahead and edit the variants and change your pricing on this. So our buy price is $11. We can add, let's say a 8% fee. It's a little high, but we can add 8% fee just for example. And as far as a profit, I wanna make 120%. Now profit dollar amount, zero. And then our sell price comes out to $26.30. Now this right here, the sell price, that is including your fees, but this right here, the total profit, that's only your profit. That is not taking into consideration the fees. So that way, you know exactly how much money you're going to be making after fees. That is extremely convenient. And it really takes the guesswork out of a lot. Because me personally, I suck at math. And pricing my products and being able to take into account all the fees and everything, it let's just say there's a lot of room for human error there. So once you're ready and ready to sell this product, have it go live on your store, just go ahead and click on save, save your pricing. Now, I just did that for one, but if you select all of them, you can bulk edit as well. Just go ahead and click on save and import, and it'll be imported to your store where you're going to be able to sell it pretty much within a few minutes. All right, next up at number two, we have a wireless baby monitor, or better said, just a wireless monitor overall. It doesn't necessarily have to be geared towards babies, but it can be geared towards kids if you're selling in the baby niche. Now, there's gonna be two different types of monitors with a lot of different accessories. So for one, you're gonna have your basic monitors, which are gonna be the ones like these right here, where you're gonna have the camera itself and the single little monitor. This, for the most part, is gonna be what people or what parents use to keep track of their kids, make sure they're safe, make sure they're sleeping safe and sound. Now, the second option is gonna be one that has an app and connects remotely through the phone. For one, they're gonna be used for the same exact reason. They're gonna be used to keep track of people's kids, but two, they can also be used to keep track of what's going on in the house when somebody's not there, or to keep track of people's pets. A lot of people like to keep an eye on their pets whenever they're not home, so a monitor like this makes it super simple. Now, the cool thing about this is the fact that you're actually able to upsell and offer multiple cameras. The reason for this is, actually, you know what? Give me one second. Let me show you exactly the reason why this is. And for that, the quality might drop a little bit on the video, so I'm sorry, but let's take a quick tour really fast. So here we have one camera right there and another one right here and now a third one needs to go right there all right we're back so i just wanted to give you a quick real life scenario as to how you can upsell or you can sell multiples of these a lot of the times when people have kids they're going to be using this throughout their entire house so as you can see right now i have two and i'm going to need one more so this right here is a perfect example of who you can target you can target parents you can target parents with multiple kids Alongside, of course, other demographics of people like people with pets or people that just want a bit more home security. All right, next up, we got the pet supplies niche. Now, in the pet supplies niche, we're going to have a few different products. In particular, one is going to be pet beds. So that's another thing that people purchase multiples of. People purchase multiple pet beds. Personally, I have two pet beds, one in the living room and one in this office because my dog, he follows me literally everywhere. See, he's right here. Say hi. Now, pet beds are going to come in quite the different varieties. There's going to be pet beds for dogs. There's going to be some for cats. You might even find some for some pretty exotic animals like turtles and stuff. But for this, we're really going to be focusing on the bigger demographic, which is going to be owners of cats and dogs. Now, you are going to have different variations in terms of sizes and styles. So as you can see, cats are going to have completely different beds than, let's say, dogs. This one's actually really cool. The bed in the shape of a paw print, that's, that's actually pretty unique. I like that. Now, like I said, you're going to have different sizes. You're going to have some that can be for, let's say, chihuahuas, while you're going to have others that can fit Great Danes. 
So this is going to give you a massive variety of products to be able to offer pet owners. Now, not just that, though, you're also going to have some pretty unique ones like the ones that we just saw with the paw print. You're going to have some like this one right here, which is actually really cool. It's a little honey pot. Then if you scroll down, we're going to find, you know, your basic ones. You're going to find some that are going to be a bit more comfortable than others. Some are going to be tempur some, some are going to be basic foam. Some are going to be stuffed with, let's say, just cotton. You got these two little houses over here. These are awesome. And besides that, you also have waterproof options. So the variations when it comes to pet beds are practically endless. And another thing about pet beds is that they're constantly replaced. So I actually throw away these pet beds every maybe six months or so, simply because after a lot of use, they get a little bit flat. The dog one day can just get bored and just <laughs> decide to tear it up. And there's just a lot of things that factor into it. But besides pet beds, another product in the pet niche is pet collars. So pet collars in terms of variations, same thing bunch of different sizes, different collars for different types of pets, different styles for different types of owners. So if you look at some of the ones that we have here, we have the safety collars, which are the LED ones, the ones that glow in the dark or they light up in the dark. You have your basic and more traditional ones. Then you also have a few others that are a bit cuter, I guess you could say. You have these right here that have a little bow on them. You have these over here that kind of just look like jewelry for your cats. This is actually a pretty good one. You can put an air tag in it to be able to keep track of your pets. And you have some more stylish ones like these right here. These gold chains, these Cuban link gold chains. These are really cool. These are pretty big sellers. All right, moving on, we have the clothing niche. Now within the clothing niche, one of the most popular items period that pretty much started print on demand is your basic t-shirt. Now, since you do have the option for print on demand with AutoDS, you can customize these t-shirts just the same way that you customize the baby onesies. So right now I already have one set up for you. And this is your basic Gildan t-shirt with just a basic design in the middle that I uploaded. Now let's go ahead and save this really fast. And let's do a little bit of profit calculation. So you can source this product for $7.25. Now always make sure you take into consideration shipping, which is gonna be $5.49. So let's pull out our calculator really fast. So $5.49 plus 7.25. So in total, we're gonna be sourcing the product for $12.74. Now, how much can we sell this for? So t-shirts typically on websites like Etsy can go anywhere between 18 to about 25 or even $30 on the high end. So I would say that you can easily price this at about $25.99 or $24.99. So $24.99 minus our $7.25, and then subtract the shipping, which is going to be $5.49, gives us a profit potential of about $12.25, not including fees. Now, t-shirts, popular year-round, but they really do spike during holidays. Hello, t-shirts! So I've realized, because I sell a lot of t-shirts, I've realized that during Christmas, they they absolutely sell out. They go crazy. But another few different times that you can actually make some pretty good sales are going to be holidays like, let's say, Father's Day, Mother's Day, 4th of July, or even with different events like, let's say, when the elections come along. T-shirts for this just go absolutely insane. But besides that, T-shirts are pretty evergreen. They're purchased year-round with spikes in sales throughout the year. And besides T-shirts, we also have yoga sets. Now, yoga sets are popular throughout the year simply because... Women purchase these to go work out all the time. And not just to work out, people use them just to lounge around because they're comfortable. Yoga sets have been trending, especially in the gym niche, for quite a few years, actually. That's pretty much all you see at the gym at this point. All right, next we got the automotive niche. And within the automotive niche, one of the most popular items, and not just popular, but also one of the most useful items, has to be a car battery charger. I don't know how many times it's happened to you, but I know quite a few people that it's happened to, myself included, where you get to your car, you realize you accidentally left the light on or the door was somewhat open and your battery drained. So your car is not starting, you can't get to work. So in this case, instead of having to find somebody to, to come to you and give you a jump, you can jump your car yourself using something like this. This is a battery car charger. All you have to do is plug it up to your battery terminals, let it sit for a, little, for a couple minutes, turn on the car and good to go. Okay. Okay. Ah! I can't believe you fell for that. <laughs> these are extremely convenient in tight pinches. And these are one of those products that people purchase to have just in case something happens. Not just that, but they also purchase it for their loved ones. I know a lot of people that purchase this either for their kids or for their significant others. And on the opposite side of the car or on the outside of the car, we have car stickers. Now, people love to put stickers on their cars. And the cool thing about stickers is the fact that they don't sell in just one or two. These, a lot of the times, are sold in packs of maybe five, 10, or even more. Now, as far as the different types of stickers, you're gonna have quite a few, 
but always make sure to look out for stickers that have copyright things on them. So for one, you have this Toyota one. This one's actually a pretty funny one. It's a nice play on words with Toyota and a toy Yoda, but I wouldn't suggest selling this simply because it has a picture of Yoda on it and that's copyright. And you don't wanna mess with the mouse. You don't wanna mess with Disney. Now, the other one is something like this. These are decals. These are pretty much cut out and when you paste them onto the car, all you get is the design. You don't get any backing or anything on it. These are perfect. These are the ones that people are always looking for for their cars. These can come either in a few different colors, a few different shapes, different sizes, different styles, a little bit of everything. But besides that, you also have like, let's say bumper stickers like these over here. Then you have a few other ones like these over here that can go on the inside of the car. They're very small, but they're nice little touches. And then you have like over here, the bumper stickers. So you have this one over here, you have these, and there's just a bunch of different types of stickers that you can purchase for cars or that you can offer for cars. All right, moving on from the automotive niche. Now we're gonna go into the jewelry niche. Jewelry is the top niche for literally the entire year, for every single holiday, for events, everything. People give jewelry as a form of gifts for absolutely any occasion, for absolutely anything. Whether it's a holiday like Christmas, maybe Valentine's Day, or if it's somebody's birthday, Mother's Day, Father's Day, or even if somebody's graduating, let's say, jewelry is the perfect gift for absolutely any occasion for both men and women. Diamonds, can't go wrong with diamonds. Now, one of the products within the jewelry niche has to be earrings. Women purchase earrings all the time and a lot of the times in sets. So whenever somebody purchases earrings, you can offer them something like this, where it has a lot of different types of earrings in that one packaging. But besides that, you have other ones, like let's say these teardrop earrings over here. The cool thing about these is that these kind of have a perceived value. I actually used to work in a jewelry store, specifically one called Nordstrom in the jewelry section. And trust me when I tell you, a lot of the overpriced items on there aren't even worth it. A lot of them are basic stainless steel that are being sold for insanely overpriced prices. You're sourcing it for about $1.44. Something as simple as this at a store like Nordstrom can be sold easily for $40, $50, $60, or even more. It really all depends on your packaging, on your branding, and how you display it. So take that into consideration. Jewelry can be sold either at very high prices or somewhat lower prices, all depending on how you market it and how you display your products. But besides that, the other option you have is also pendant necklaces. Pendant necklaces specifically with initials. These are awesome because these can also be combined, let's say with a baby niche, because let's say when a baby's born, somebody can give the mom a gift with their baby's initial on it. Not just that, but like I mentioned earlier, these are given as gifts for practically any occasion. Let's say somebody's birthday is coming up. They can easily receive or you can give them a necklace with their initial on it. Something nice and something simple that can be worn pretty much every day. And those were our picks for the top 10 evergreen products for you to drop ship. What did you think of today's list? Let me know down in the comments below. Remember, if you want access to the cheat sheet, just go ahead and comment the hashtag evergreen and let me know which one of these products was your favorite. Also in the description, there's gonna be a relevant article where you can learn a little bit more about evergreen products in general. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. As always, it truly means a lot. Please make sure you smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so that way you don't miss out on any future videos. My name is Mario with AutoDS and I'll catch you all next time.